I think had we gone eight and eight, it would have been a no-brainer. They would have said, Brad, enjoyed having you. It was great. But it's time for us to move on as well as you. But uh, that didn't happen. We came very close to the Super Bowl. And I think had we won that championship game, they would have been saying it was destiny for the Vikings. It was meant to be. And I think it was it would have been as justified as it was for the Saints. Hey, I grew up something. It seemed like destiny. But as we were driving on that last drive, I'm thinking, it's destiny, all right. But for us, you know, I, I tip my hat to those guys. They did it. And, it, it, you know, you could, have, you could have said it's destiny and it just filled it out at the end of the game who it was. So I felt like when I ride home, I knew I had a, some tough decisions to make. I know I, I sat right there in my press conference afterwards, and as dejected as I was, I remember as if it were five minutes ago, and I said, I think this decision will be made sooner rather than later. Um, but the Vikings organization was, was great, and they knew, much like after we lost to the Giants several years ago, I couldn't, I couldn't help but think about football all the time, but I didn't want to think about football, if that makes sense. As, as magical as a year as it was and, and as, as proud as I should have been, all I could think about was I was so close, so close to getting these guys to to the Super Bowl. And I just kept thinking that even though I don't owe them something, it's like I let them, let them, let them, and then maybe I should try to give it one more try. No guarantees, as they're never – should be. All we can ask for is our best, and I hope. I mean, our fan. I tell you, and it doesn't help when I'm driving home in Hattiesburg after a month of a month of being away from football, and there's billboards popping up saying how much we love you and we want you back. Who would ever thought that would happen? Um, and people are making trips down to, to Hattiesburg, and, and you know, it, and it was sincere stuff. And the things that I was hearing, the letters that I was reading. Billboards that I was passing. Um, I just felt like that I should, I owe it, I owe it to this organization to give it one more try. I have no idea how to pan out, but all I can promise you is I give my best.